Hey everybody, it's Jackie Jing and I am doing a trailer reaction to Borderlands. Um, highly anticipated movie, so cannot wait to dive in here. If you don't already, please follow me on all the different social media platforms. Poor Claptrap. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he look cool. Pandora's vibes are great. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so bad. Ew. I can't even imagine that. Oh, that looks cool. Do you know how many people have died? Look at this ball. We have something they don't know. What? Uh. Time to make it green with your bottom parts. <laughs> Love it. Cute. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh gosh. Um, okay, so I think first and foremost, we got to address the casting. Um, I think that a lot of people have been talking about it. Um, so I feel like I don't want to criticize anybody until we like actually can see the full movie. I definitely think that um, for Roland, I was envisioning someone more like Idris Elba. Um, but like, I want to give Kevin Hart a shot and see like the whole movie because he is super funny. Um, so like, maybe not what I personally envisioned, but I mean, I want to see how the whole story plays out and like, maybe, you know, it's fine, you know, because I think a lot of times people like raise concerns about casting and then like once they see the project in its entirety, it's all good. Um, Lilith, uh, I know a lot of people have been like, okay, Kate Blanchett is older um, than what they envisioned for Lilith. Kate Blanchett's a baddie. Um, I, I do agree. Maybe I, I see Lilith being a little bit younger, but Kate Blanchett looks fantastic and she's an exceptional actress. I think that a big reason why her name was attached to this project was because she is the Kate Blanchett. So again, I got to see the whole movie and see, um, how it all plays out. I feel like Jack Black can do no wrong. Um, though, you know, I was chatting um, with my boyfriend earlier and we were talking about how like Claptrap is just so useless in the game. Like, just notoriously useless and annoying. So, um, definitely was getting the annoying. Um, and he, I feel like he was, the claptrap was just so Jack Black. It's just like, you know, you put Jack Black in a role and you're essentially getting like Jack Black, I feel like. Um, and so he was funny. Um, I just feel like this trailer overall was lacking some sort of like oomph for me. Um, 
I actually thought that Ariana Greenblatt um, wasn't too bad for Tiny Tina, but like I almost wanted her to be a, like a little bit more unhinged. But I f I feel like I really liked her the most out of everyone, and I wanted to see more from Tannis. Like I love Jamie Lee Curtis, and um, I was excited to see like how Jamie Lee Curtis was envisioning Tannis. Like, but we got like that little snippet, and it just like wasn't like it, it just didn't do anything for me. Um, also, I guess I was low-key hoping we would see Handsome Jack. Um, we did see a villain, but I did not think that was Handsome Jack, and certainly not Handsome Jack vibes. And, um, was maybe hoping to see Brick, but we didn't. Uh, I know there's, like, some articles online that said Dave Bautista would be great for Brick. That would have been so fun. But then I think, like, the issue with this, um, movie that I've already seen is that it's, like, so much like Guardians of the Galaxy, um, it's, it's just seems like Guardians of the Galaxy meets Mad Max. And I think I was envisioning something more like Mad Max meets Blade Runner. <laughs> but again, like, that's me, you know, like I was just expecting it to be a little darker. Um, but then have, you know, like little, you know, obviously it's unhinged moments, but it's like the game has its unhinged moments, but they're like funny but like really messed up too and I just felt like the tone was a little off for this one I just didn't see anything that was like super like rated R and hardcore I know that sounds silly but it's just like it seemed kind of like a kids movie and that's not what Borderlands is like it, it's like definitely a game for it's mature you know like there's some heavy that happens um so I'm a little worried um but you never know. Like, it could also come down to the editing of the trailer, right? You never know. I do think I liked I liked how Pandora looked. Like, I thought it, it gave me Pandora vibes. I think I would have liked... I, like, I liked when it looked really gritty. Like, when she was talking about, um, I hate it here. Like, I was like, oh, yeah. Like, this looks like Blade Runner to me. Also, I, I loved um, how the villains looked. Oh, where'd they go? There was some really cool shot. And I, I don't know. This guy. Yeah. He looks awesome. Cool. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to see more of the villains too. Like what, what is like so pressing here? What is, what is this, um, you know, what, what is looming over them? What, what, like we know that they want the treasure, but you know, who are they going up against and why is it that hard? Like they threw in that squid sand monster thing, which I would have loved to see this earlier on. Like, that would have been, like, a good opener. Like, some comedic moment and then them, like, getting flown into that thing. And then, like, some more development of, like, the the villain. Um, and even, like, seeing more of Pandora. Like, I like this mask part. Like, I thought this was super cool, too. Um, like, the, the AI mask in the bar. Um, some cool stuff, though. We got to see Miss Molly. Um, I, I would have also loved to see more throwbacks to the game. Like, I've had this conversation, I should have started off talking about this, but I've had this conversation about anime adaptations, and one of the biggest things they do wrong is, like, the source material is amazing. The source material is gold. So, like, don't mess with it. Like, you can follow it almost verbatim. Like, the One Piece live action, it took out the filler, but, like, it heavily relied on the source material. And this looks like it took the world. Oh, I called her Mad Molly. It's Mad Moxie. My bad. Mad Moxie. It's, Correction. It's Moxie. Yeah, I said Molly. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mad Moxie. My bad. My boy. I said Miss Molly and it's Mad Moxie. Anyway, <laughs> I'm happy for the live correction for my boyfriend. Thank you. Um, alliteration M's. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think like one of the big problems is. Um, that, you know, don't, like, lean on the source material. Like, we want to see these anime and these, like, video games just brought to life, you know? Um, but then it's, like, we love the games for, like, those moments in the game. So, like, don't mess with that. But, um, again, maybe that's just me. I always would love to hear what you all think. Um, tell me in the comments below if you agree uh, are you excited about this movie? Do you have concerns? Um, yeah. Uh, I, I think, like, 
I, I would want to see this movie just because I think that, like, visually it'd probably be very cool in theaters. And I feel like it would lose a lot of its effect if you watched it at home. Um, but, and my chomping at the bit for this one, I can confidently tell you, no, I'm not. Which is, makes me sad. But again, could just be a bad edit on the trailer, so we shall see. But again, let me know in the comments what you are thinking. And if you don't already, please follow me on all the different social media platforms. Thanks, bye.